go on a rant. And I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just going to rant like my name is Kevin Durant. But as far as college football, yeah, we're going to talk about all the teams that we cover in the football one-on-one section of the show. But I'm going to go on a rant, like for real. Like, okay, yeah, I'm a homer. Yeah, I love the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Yeah, they beat Alabama. And yeah, I guess I should be riding an emotional high right now, but I'm not. I'm so not. Yes, 52-49 is forever etched in my memory banks. And somehow, 52-49, I don't know. I'm going to make that number make sense in my head and put it somewhere in my home or on my body. And that's what it's going to be. But how is UT not the number one team in the nation? There are literally three teams. Three teams. That the AP, the Associated Press, and the coaches poll say are better than the University of Tennessee. Georgia, Ohio State, and Michigan. Now, now, I did like, I did minute research on this one. Because it was glaring. I did like small research, bro. Like I'm not even talking about I had to go deep into the the uh, offensive and defensive rankings and see what they quarterbacks was doing and and see what they the different rankings of the class and see who they they um uh uh uh, uh coaches were and all that. Nah, we didn't even have to do all that. I just looked at the teams that was played. Literally, literally, folks. Michigan has defeated how many top 25 teams? One. Penn State. This past week. And they moved up as far as their, 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 their number, as far as their rankings. Ohio State beat one team, Notre Dame. First game of the season. Notre Dame is not even in the top 25. And matter of fact, they got a losing record. That shouldn't even count. Although Notre Dame was number five at the time. UGA defeated Oregon. Oregon is not in the top 25. I don't even, they're not even in like the running for the Pac-12. They were number, the number 11 ranked team at the time. But hey, you play who you play. And that's just my point. How many teams has UT defeated that were in the top 25? Four. Literally, literally more than all of them combined. They defeated Pitt. Pitt was ranked 17. Pitt is no longer in the top 25. They defeated Florida. 20 at the time. No longer in the top 25. LSU and Alabama. Like, Alabama went from three to six. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, the team that we defeated is still in the top 10 of America. And you mean to tell me there are three other teams that are better? All right, Georgia, okay, I get it. They brought back just, well, they brought it back a lot of players, most notably the quarterback, Stetson Bennett, the fourth. But they didn't bring back Jordan Davis. They didn't bring back the other D tackle that went number one in the draft. Like, what are we, like, what is going on here? Like, I don't. I don't even get it. Like what? Okay, so in the coaches poll, right? Let's look. Let's go over to the coaches poll. So, some. This is laughable, y'all. Literally, somebody said Michigan. Somebody voted. Got they? You have first place votes, right? Michigan. They said that Michigan, that the team that only defeated one top twenty five team, which is Penn State, deserved a a, a, a number one vote. For the net, so it's one voter that actually thought they should be the number one team in the nation, and UT defeated number three Alabama with a Heisman Trophy winner on their team. A slew of second defensive secondary players out, led by Jalen McCullough. I just, I don't even know, like, that is so alarmingly disrespectful. Like, I 
don't even know what to say. It's alarmingly disrespectful. It's like, what the hell y'all doing, voters? Like, I get it. UT, Coach Hype are kind of like the new kids on the block. You know, they in KOTP. I get it. Oh, oh, oh. You're trying to see if they got the right stuff off the top of the dome, Troy. Y'all welcome. What I'm saying is, Ohio State, Penn State, don't even, wait a minute, Ohio State and Michigan don't even have four ranked teams that they play in the year. UT literally, UT literally played four before the halfway point of the damn year, y'all. I, I mean, like they got the number one ranked offense. They scored the most points. They beat, <laughs> they undefeated. <laughs> They are ex they're literally exercising all their demons. They beat Florida. They beat LSU. And they beat Alabama. They I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe we didn't rush the field right. And that's why. Okay. 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 Speaking of tough fights, it means it's time for the one mo. And the one mo usually comes from the political front. Most times it's solely from President Biden, Uncle Joe, Stimmy, number 46, as people are calling him everybody on socials when i pull the peace out i'd be like peace out 